A worried mom does better research than the FBI. IVF and saltwater shots, optional. <laughs> when my son was born with asthma, we would go to the doctor's office all the time. And I would see so many kids with asthma and severe allergies. They had red eyes, heaving little chests, tubes stuck down their throats, pumping steroids to help them breathe. And I thought to myself, this wasn't the case when I was a kid. And I was worried. Now, as a mom, when you love someone so much, a little piece of your heart opens, and you would do anything to keep them safe, to protect them, to ensure that they thrive and not just survive. So I did my research, and it turns out that we were all in the dark about climate change. I discovered a profound link between global warming, extreme poverty, and our health. And it began a journey to create a solution. Did you know that one out of four kids in New York City have asthma, and it's 40% higher than the rest of the country? And it's because of the pollution in the air from energy consumption from buildings. Buildings create 75% of the carbon emissions polluting our air. Even just one light bulb can create up to 90 pounds of carbon emissions every year. We have a noose around our necks, and it's tied to fossil fuels. And it's making us sick, it's making our kids sick, and it's making our planet. 60% of our GDP is in energy consumption. And I realized we all have to change the way that we harvest our energy. And yet we have energy around us every day. The sun is an amazing thing. It gives us 970 trillion kilowatt hours of energy each day. Now, that's enough energy to give every single person on the planet, that's seven billion people, a light bulb that would shine bright for their entire lifetime. And when the sun goes down, in the rest of the world, there's another toxic fossil fuel. One quarter of humanity live in the dark. Two billion people in the world live without access to a grid, and they rely on kerosene to light their world at night. Two million children die each year because of the toxins from this fossil fuel. In India alone, it causes 30,000 house fires every year. Kerosene is a dirty, toxic fossil fuel. And it's a 38 billion dollar a year industry. Even when families are living on three dollars a day, they're spending up to 30 percent of their income on kerosene to light their world at night. I took this photo in Haiti on one of my many visits, and I met a woman farmer. She was Daphne Toussaint. She had five kids. And she told me, that she couldn't afford to buy the glass to go around her kerosene light. Her kids were doing homework at night in a smoky, dim room. And as one mother to another mother, I wanted to give her a gift. So I gave her my light. I gave her this light. It's called the Solar Puff. It's like holding the sun in your hand. This journey is on its seventh year. It took a ton of sweat and gallons of tears. It's the world's first flat pack. Quick, puff open, 
solar light. It's made from recyclable materials. It's waterproof, it floats. It's inspired by my love of origami and textiles. It has a low setting, high setting, distress signal, or disco. <laughs> it's individualized infrastructure. Because putting in a grid would take billions of dollars and years to execute. And people need light, clean light, right now. But most importantly, I believe that this light is a symbol of the light in you and your power to make a difference in this world no matter how small your effort or how large your vision. This light is designed for the child in Nigeria to the child in Nantucket because design provides dignity. Whether you're living on $2 a day or $2,000 a day, design matters. So, what if two billion people in the world stopped using kerosene and started to use their own clean light? What if we all changed the way that we lit our world at night? Could you imagine how that would transform our environment, our ecology, our health, here and on other continents. We all have the power to make a difference and to change the way that we harvest our energy to mitigate climate change. Hold the sun in your hand, and together we can turn darkness into 10 million rays of light. Because in the end, it's about the passion that pollinates from a love of what you do and pass on. Your passion is a gift to the world. And it will fly back to you 10 million fold. Get light, give light, and unleash the amazing light in you. Thank you.